I'm Eric Poole, editor of Guns and Ammo magazine here at the Nighthawk booth at the 2019 SHOT Show. I'm joined here by Nelson with the brand new Nighthawk Firehawk 9mm pistol and this thing's pretty exciting. Before we get into the real secret sauce about this gun, let's first talk about the Firehawk. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Eric. I appreciate the opportunity yeah. to get on here and, and talk to you a little bit about what we're doing. Um, you know, we one of the things at Nighthawk for uh, all of 2018 is we put together a really strong R&D team, and we really approached everything we're doing with how can we make it better and what sure. can we do that's really new and innovative this year. Uh, I think we've succeeded in that. We're really excited about uh, our new model, the Firehawk. Um, what it is is a it's a compensated uh, 1911. Uh, it's made to blend and look uh, like a regular five-inch government model. So uh, it, it, the looks are a bit deceiving. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, and, and there's a lot of engineering that went into it, and and it's easy for for me to get lost in the weeds just because I know how right? how much we put into it. But well, I tell you what, let's start with the the compensator first because you know compensators are pretty hot things. They really help uh, manage. Uh, muzzle rise as you're shooting, especially rapidly between multiple targets. And you know, if you're going to shoot multiple targets, you want to keep your sights down on target, and uh, comps really help out that. But you know, when you think about it, to get a five inch government type profile, you're going to have to shorten that barrel because uh, look how much. Uh, I guess of a cavity there is there in that compensator. So that barrel is only this long. Tell me a little bit about what you had to do with that barrel. Exactly, so uh, we started with a five inch uh, government 1911 slide um, in frame and we cut the front of the slide off. So now it's actually effectively a 3.9 inch slide. Uh, we, we custom engineered a compensator that would be threaded onto a custom engineered barrel. So, But you're not removing it? No. Like a lot of those compensators out there, you can take them off and stuff. No, this is not user serviceable or, or removable in any way. Uh, in fact, it's, it's very, it's fitted by the gunsmith when he puts this gun together, when he builds this gun uh, from start to finish. And look at that fitment right there. You can see the wear marks here where it's really wearing in. I mean, you roll that a little bit, let that light get, I mean, you can see where it's locking up. That bolt barrel fitting is just beautiful. Well, and, it, and it's just different, right? So a lot of people take a threaded barrel like yeah. for a suppressor and screw a compensator onto it. And we wanted to make it uh, so that when the gun was done, it, it would look like a classic sure. 1911 and not be, you know, a, a crazy looking compensated blaster right. in an open uh, competition match. So. Now, one thing I really notice here, uh, you know, I've, I've been to pistol smithing school, yep. and uh, I love it when I see guns that have the front sight dovetail blended in with the, the slide, and in this case, blended in with the compensator, because that's where it's mounted. And this is a particularly nice front sight. It's got an 18 carat gold dot, am I right? Yeah, you're exactly right. And Shooting gold. <laughs> it's, it's always blended uh, here at Nighthawk, but you know, on, on this compensated model, um, it, we've got what's called a sight tracker. So as that slide is reciprocating uh, while you shoot, your front sight isn't really moving on it. So it really helps with the faster follow-up shots. Sure. Because instead of chasing your front sight around in your vision, it's, it's pretty much sitting still as that gun does what it does. Well, Nighthawk's known for other distinctive, innovative features. And one of the things I actually like on this, uh, you know, in addition to the controls, which all have a nice little ledge, of course, this is a single-sided uh, thumb safety on here. You've got a great beaver tail grip safety. But I, I really dig the carbon fiber grips. Yeah, thank you. Well. <laughs> These are actually uh, kind of an upgrade that we just have here at the show. Uh, uh -huh. we, we had a partnership with Rail Scales and um, oh, excellent job because they make G10s for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They they do a lot of stuff in the AR world, uh, making uh, panels for uh, sure. Cars. So this was just a custom thing, and, and we really like them. So we got it here at the show, just kind of showing it off. But Look at this detail here. That that um, beveled magwell here i mean you're going to this is going to gobble up magazine super easy right uh but that magwell is is nicely even blended with the the carbon fiber grips and i love that because sometimes you slap aftermarket grips on there they don't match or yep. you especially when they got this this angle at the bottom it just doesn't look right it looks yeah. like you just added a magwell here it looks like it was all made as sure. intentionally yeah. as one piece. Well, like I said, these are uh, these are just an optional upgrade we got on this model. Uh, we're just showcasing it here at the sure. show. But um, yeah, we're really excited about this Firehawk model. Uh, you know, the whole recoil system had to be redone. And, right. And, uh, from an engineering perspective, we're, we're really proud of what we accomplished. The gun will run on plus P loads at the same no as kidding. 115 grain <laughs> softies. So, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, obviously it's going to be a little more effective if right. you're running a plus P load, but a lot of people aren't going to do that. Uh, well, look, we didn't talk about the rear sight. Now, of course, 
course, they've got a great ledge rear sight here that's got serrations and nice, nice notch. It's going to pick up that gold bead up front super easy. This is a Heine sight. It's drifted in here. But, you know, as we all know, red dots are hot, and there's a little secret to this pistol that's going to just shock all of you guys, and that is the IOS. Tell me a little bit about it. Thank you. Yeah, this is, you know, something we're really, really excited about. We see the industry headed uh, towards more and more RMRs and, and red dot optics right. mounted on pistols. Um, I mean, you guys have had a few models with red dots already on them. We have, and traditionally on a 1911, the only way to do it was to uh, put a very unique cut in your slide, put a Trijicon plate on there, right. and then mount the RMR to that plate. Uh, it didn't provide you a whole lot of uh, accessibility if you ever needed to sure. change anything or go back to um, iron sights or whatever the case may be. So we built a whole new system from the ground up that right. allows you to start with a gun that looks like a standard 1911. Iron sight is built in, the serrations yep. are blended, the whole top of the slide is it, it, blended perfectly. Perfectly, but then in about 20 seconds or less, you can go to, uh, to a red dot. Uh, in this case, we've got a Trijicon RMR. I'm going to call you out on that. I'd like to see how fast he can uh, uh, change this out. You said 20 seconds? I should have known better than to put time on it, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Here's you, the necessary hex yep. key you're going to need uh, to take it off. Walk us through it. So all you need here is an Allen wrench. You can see at the top of the slide, we've got a single set screw. Uh, the set screw is not holding uh, the, the plates, if you will, to the slide. So uh, normally you see big screw heads that are, that are needed to hold the plate on. But the right. uh, set screw just basically keeps pressure on a pin that actually does the hard work. Keeps the pin from drifting out. Exactly. Right. Uh, and we do have about three different backup safety measures in this system. So uh, a lot of things we have to fail to ever have an issue with the system. Yep. Um, so I'll just show Are you feeling things. good? Yeah. All right. So. Go. So you're going to come out with your set screw about one turn, one and a half turns. You're going to use your Allen wrench, push your pin out. The stainless side. steel pin. Yep. Your plate will slide off the back. And I see a graduated dovetail. We have a tapered dovetail that yep. uh, does that. And then we're going to take the pin. From the same side that it exited. Push it in. Use your Allen wrench to make sure that it's fully seated. Uh, and then about, like I said, one turn. Uh -huh. And now your uh, Trujicon RMR is fully back to zero. 25 seconds. Oh, I needed to speed it up a little bit. Sorry Not bad that. at all, though. But look at that. So I'm going to show you the bottom of the sight plate, and you can see the magic here. I mean, and I imagine you guys are going to patent this. Uh, we are patent pending. So we, patent we, pending. Yeah, we're patent pending now. We will be uh, have a full patent on it as soon as the patent office. Starts. This is like one of the most brilliant innovations for 1911s and bringing them up to modern times. Uh, I got to say, so what if you already own a Nighthawk pistol, uh, 1911, and you want this iOS system on it for, you know, I'd like to shoot more red dots. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've got a, a custom uh, kind of gunsmithing shop in our company, if you will, where uh, we bring in Kimber and Springfields and all sure. kinds of things. And we also bring in a lot of our own pistols. Uh, people want to upgrade sights or do different things, right. things like that. So yeah, if you have a Nighthawk pistol, you can absolutely send it to us. Uh, we're gonna, first we're gonna measure everything, measure sure. it twice, make sure that um, you're, you're, it's not gonna be an issue. And then we're gonna right. machine the, uh, the slide uh, so that we can attach an optics plate blank right. and then uh, get you set up with iron sights and then an RMR system if that's what you like. Yep. Before I close this out, one other great detail about it, you've got the iron sight right in front of the red dot sight, which, which is awesome. And this is going to be zeroed from the factory. Yeah, so if you order it with the RMR uh, yep. on the gun, it will be all zeroed. It does co-witness. Uh, okay. One really nice feature about this is we were able to sink the optics plate and the whole system so deep in the slide. You'll notice we have a standard height front sight. Right. There's none of the uh, tall suppressor sights that, that cause problems. The iOS system may be one of the best innovations to come out of SHOT Show this year. And I tell you what, the Firehawk 9mm 1911 is certainly one of my favorites. Thank you very much.